Hello friends, welcome in OCP technology. My name is Shri Pal, and today I am going to show you how to configure Oracle ASM in Oracle 10G on Linux Red Hat Linux 5.5 platform. First of all, you have to log in with your root user. and check open your terminal check your disk hard disk partitions using fdisk command fdisk hyphen l it's showing you all your part partition of your hard disk there is one hard disk name is sda1 and size is 21.4 gb and there is two partitions sda1 and sda2 now for the ASM instance we have need some hard drives so right now we don't have physical hard drive so VMware workstation providing a virtual hard disk going in VM tab upside and uh, click on setting add select hard disk and next 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 sizes how much size you want to give I give 10 GB size to this hard drive and finish see here one hard drive add on 10 GB and uh, one more hard drive add on so here I am add two hard drive size both uh, hard drive size is 10 10 GB so you can see here two hard drives add here and ok now run fdisk hyphen l command these hard drives not showing right now here so for that we have need to reboot your system Okay, login again with root user. Open terminal. And run again app disk command fdisk hyphen l l for list of so it's showing you all hard drives this one sda sda is by default drive of this system and uh, sdb and sdc it's virtual hard drive which is add on by vmware okay now if we have need a partitions of these tables uh, these hard drives so now i'm going to create partition using fdisk command and your dry, uh, your hard disk path stp enter press n press m for help it's showing all characters which is helping to you creating a partition new partitions so here we are we want to add on new partitions so press n press 
press P press 1 enter enter press W for save this partition again for SDC1 SDC N P 1 1 So your partitions work is done. Now we have one partition for each one partition for SDC which is name is SDC1 and one partition for SDB which is name is SDB1. Okay. So now We have need some permissions given some permission to this uh, this hard drive partitions. So ch on iPhone capital R Oracle Dev STP. SDP1, SDC, and SDC1. Now, your partition is completed. Now, <coughs> configure AS, start asm services go in cd u01 app oracle product dp underscore one and pin and run local config file first time if you run this file first time then you have to use add here add keyword here but if you run this file second time then you have to use reset keyword here not add fine so run it local config command is run all css file for asm which is required and which is mandatory for asm instance if this file is not running these services then your ASM instance is not successfully created fine it will take some time so CSS file CSS services is installed and running under init 1m so here ASM instance successfully started then, uh, then login with your oracle user press control alt and pack space and login with oracle user open your terminal and first of all you have need to create a p file for asm instance using vi command dvs init asm dot aura press i for insert and right here in 
instance underscore type is equal to asm db underscore unique name also is asm it is optional second is optional but first one is mandatory asm underscore power limit is equal to two. how many hard drives you add on in this asm instance we are adding only two hard drives so give me two asm disk string dev sdp1 and second is dev sdc1 asm underscore disk group disk large underscore pool underscore size 8 MB background dump test is equal to oracle underscore on underscore save it and exit now export your ASM SID ASM and log in your ASM instance Now create your disk group. Create disk group DG one normal redundancy. Fail group FG one disk dev STP one name 
discover search 5gb fail group fj2 disk dev stc1 name disk 2 size 5g through this command your asm disk group dg1 is created which is have two drives sdb1 and sdc1 and we are giving the size of 55 gb to each check your disk group using view describe view dollar asm underscore disk group select name from view dollar as asm underscore disk group it will showing you all your disk group we have only one disk group which is name is dg1 ok friends so show parameter instance underscore type it is asm instance ok now your asm instance is started successfully now you have to log in with your rdbms instance so open new tab and log in, in your AS rdbms instance using sql plus command and start up your rdbms instance Now create a table space for ASM. Create table space ASM DB. It's a name of ASM table space. Data file DG1 size. Auto extend on now check your all data file name here is showing your dg1 ok now so it's your rdbm instance so now your asm instance is configuration is completed you can use your asm instance now your data is mirroring going over mirroring and stepping now your data is shared on two drives stb1 and sdc1 one more thing if you plan for shutdown the your database so you have to need the shutdown firstly asm instance but if you try to shut down your asm instance before 
ASM in, before RDBMS instance so it's showing an error like this show immediate so it's showing an error like this cannot shut down ASM instance this 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 RDBMS instance connected so you have to need to shut down your RDBMS instance firstly like this shut down immediate then you can shut down your art ASM instance right but just remind it when you start your server database server you have to need to start firstly your as instance right otherwise if you try to start your rdbms instance before starting the as instance so it is showing an error like this startup It's go for a startup and it's showing an error after mount stage. Cannot identify locate variable. This 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 DG1 error. This data file. So you have to need to start before ASM. Startup mount. Your ASM instance always on mount stage. So till mount stage. So it is mounted then you can start your ASM instance uh, instance alter database open now your database will open and your you can use your ASM instance okay friends thank you for watching my video I hope you like my video and subscribe my channel. Don't forget my subscribe uh, subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching my video.